Miss T with T Quilts, and I'm here today to do an update on the birthday challenge blocks. These quilts are not due until next year, so but I did work on them at the retreat that I had for T Quilts, and I just wanted to do an official update of where I am. I probably will not work on this quilting project until the earlier part of next year because I need to get some UFOs completed, and I also want to start another t-shirt quilt but I will make sure that I keep you abreast of anything that's happening with these quilts so first off I'm just going to go ahead and take you outside and we'll get started there First up I have the straight string quilt. I am doing one straight string, one diagonal, and two crumbs myself. So I'm doing quilts number one through four. So this is quilt number one and the wind is blowing a little today so it's going to be difficult but I will take a snapshot and post up here and I will also link a chart of where the blocks are so if you know your number you'll know exactly where your block is in this quilt I again I just put these blocks together I just changed the direction sort of like a rail fence but it's kind of scrappy and then I added a two inch black strip on the side as well as a three and a half inch strip on the side so I needed a total of 10 inches of border so I put five inches of border on each side so this is quilt number one Quilt number two is my diagonal strings. Again, it has the same boarding as the first quilt. All four of my quilts will have the same border, so we don't have to talk about that anymore. But on the top row, I had some people that sent me their blocks with the setting already of the hugs and kisses, which is what I plan to do with the remainder of the quilt. So depending on where you look at the quilt, you will see the hugs, and then you will also see the kisses so you'll see X's and O's depending on how your eye is landing on the particular quilt. Quilt number three I have not actually pieced the blocks together I didn't get a chance to do it at the retreat. At the retreat I did piece the center of these crazy crumb block quilts and I had just added the borders today so that I could go ahead and add it as a completed quilt top. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a photo that I took at Scrap Quilting Club. I had one of my members, she took 20 blocks from me, they're crumb blocks, and she is putting them into a setting and I just thought that it was really cute. She is not finished with it yet, but I went ahead and took a picture so that you can see those. I don't know which blocks are included in this because I did not have a chart to map it out when she took the blocks from me. But I just wanted to share what's happening with that quilt as well. This quilt is actually quilt number 10. Now, Here's a quilt top that I received from someone in my scrap quilting club and she doesn't really care what I do with it. She just wanted to donate it. So I thought that this would be also an added addition. So this will make like an extra three tops so far and one backing that I have. And I'm not sure if I'm even going to commit to quilting the three extra quilts right now because I have so much on my agenda but we shall see how it goes and they will just go into place for those of you that are wondering where your blocks are in my first four quilts I am using blocks from people that donated who were assigned the number one through 100 and then in the quilt that Becky did where I put the photo up of her quilt it's 
Also, blocks from one through 100, she only has 20 blocks. The remaining blocks I have distributed to my friends, they're going to be in quilts number five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And your blocks will be used in those quilts. And I will put a chart up of the numbers. So if you know your numbers, then you will know that your blocks are going to be included. this video thank you all for participating I will keep you abreast when I start back working on this project hopefully next January or February I know in February I have another retreat so maybe that will be the day that I start working on these but um, see you with the next status update bye bye for now